Hi, I'm Coach Tammy, and I'm going to run you through a short vinyasa flow that could be done any time of day, especially when you need a break from work and you need just a little help with concentration. Let's get started. So we'll start in mountain pose. Big toes touch, a little space between your heels. Inhale, reaching tall to the sky. And then in your exhale, you'll cactus your arms, open your chest. Inhale, reach tall. And then exhale, hinge forward into a forward fold. Now here you can have your knees slightly bent. Your head, neck, and shoulders are heavy. And just breathe here. And then in your next inhale, bring your fingertips to your shins and your torso is parallel to the floor, back is flat. Then bring your hands to the mat and step back to a high plank. Thumbs in line with your mid-chest. Drive your elbows back toward your toes and come all the way down to your bow. Flip your toenails down, and then root through your palms and lift your chest into a cobra. Exhale, release to the mat. And on your inhale, tuck your toes under, push up to your high plank or knee plank, and then push your hips up and back to the down facing dog. Your chest reaches toward your thighs, heels reaching toward the mat, and then strong and long through both hands. Look to your hands, walk forward in your inhale. Feet come forward to your hands, big toes touch again, heels slightly separated, and then you're in your forward fold and your exhale. Back to that half lift on your inhale. And then forward fold, exhale again. Staying tall into a mountain pose, reach your fingertips to the sky, inhale, and then exhale, tiny back and open your chest. Reach up tall again, and then hinge forward into your forward fold. Flat back, inhale, and then hands to the back of your exhale, walk all the way back to your high plank and come all the way down to your belly. Toes down, and again into that cobra, lift up, and then exhale, release, down to the mat. Tuck your toes under, push to your knee plank or your high plank, and then back to your downward facing dog. Moving on from here, stay strong and long through your arms, lift your right leg nice and high, keeping your hips square, keeping that left heel rooted toward the mat, and then open up your hip. Still equal weight in both hands, and it's as if you're bringing your right foot toward your left elbow. Reach that right leg high again. And then bring the right knee to the nose. Round the back, hold here. And then reach the right leg high again. Now slide forward to a high plank and bring the right knee to the right elbow. Trying to keep the hips and the shoulders nice and square. Send the right leg back, high to the sky. And then send the foot between the hands. Toes forward into a low lunge. Lift the chest, come up tall into a crescent lunge. Now spin your back heel in and turn to your left into a warrior two. The front knee stays back, the front toes are forward, and your shoulders are over your hips. Then drop the back hand, reach the front arm high, tip the torso back into a reverse warrior. And then release by up circle sweeping your hands, framing your front foot, spinning the back heel out to a low lunge. High plank, elbows drive back all the way down to your belly. Toes down, and this time on your inhale, pushing a little firmly, more firmly into your palms, lift up to a higher cobra, engage your glutes, and then release down to the mat. Toes under, push up to a high plank, and then exhale back to your downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing on the left side. So lift your left leg nice and high, keeping your hips square at first, really using all of your ten fingers to work the mat, and then open the left hip as if you're bringing the left foot toward the right elbow. Left leg high again, and then slide forward into a high plank as the left knee comes and tries to connect with the elbow or the tricep. And then send the left leg high, bring the knee to the nose, rounding the back, left leg high, and now step the foot all the way between the hands. And if you need to help yourself out, just grab your hamstring and start to step your foot forward to get into that low lunge. On your inhale, lift up into crescent lunge, hips and shoulders are square. And then spin the back heel in, turn to your right into a warrior two. Shoulders are over your hips, front knee stays bent a lot. And then drop the back hand, reach the front arm high into a reverse warrior. Now, as if you're going to cartwheel, circle your arms around, frame the front foot as the back heel spins back into your low lunge. Come back to your high plank, and then again, all the way down to your belly, toes down, root through the palms, using the 
upper back, come up to your high cobra. And then release down to the mat on your exhale. Tucks, toes tucked under, push up to high plank and downward facing dog. Stay here for a few breaths. Maybe pedal out your heels a few times. And then let your hands come down to your knees into a tabletop. Extend your right arm forward and your left leg back. Balance here, keeping your shoulder girdle and your pelvis in line parallel to the mat. If you'd like, you can reach behind and grab your foot. Push the top of the foot into your palm. Square up those hips and shoulders. Catch a stretch in the hip flexor and quad of that left leg. Extend again, reach. And hand and knee to the mat. Other side, left arm moves forward. Right leg goes back. If you'd like, you can reach behind and grab the right foot, pushing the top of the right foot into the left palm. Extend the arm and leg again, and set the hand and the knee back down on the mat. Now separate your knees about a little bit wider than hip distance, maybe as wide as your mat. Send your seat down to your heels, reach your fingertips forward, and bring your forehead down to the mat. And we will end here with some deep breathing. In and out through the nose. Try to lengthen your exhale so it's a few counts longer than your inhale. Maybe inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count of eight. Continue to reach your fingertips forward and your glutes down to your heels. And you can stay here as long as you like. You bring your hands back around your shoulders. Give yourself a boost up. And maybe even come down to your back if you have a little extra time. Feet about as wide as your mat, and then a little bit of external rotation in the hips, so let your toes fall outward, and your arms are to your sides, with your palms up. And continue that breathing here. You can bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and as you inhale, you should feel your belly rise. It's not that we're actually breathing air into our belly, we're filling our lungs, and the diaphragm presses downward, displacing that volume. Another trick is to put your fingertips right in those intercostal spaces between your ribs, and we're kind of feeling your rib cage expand on your inhales, rather than just a shallow inhale with elevation of the shoulders. Think about filling the chest, filling the belly. Thank you so much for joining me today for this quick vinyasa flow. Look up to see you in yoga class at Lion's Den. Again, you can stay here as long as you want or make your way into a comfortable seated position. Bringing your hands to the center of your chest and your thumb towards your last bone. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.